Hello! Today we are going to do a fun fantasy look. Mariposa Reina, the Butterfly Queen. I'm making this all up as I go along. And it's all created with things that I got from the dollar store. So I took a dress that I had for my costume and I put stickers all over it. And the stickers had to be hand stitched on because otherwise they would fall off. So that is my costume. I have a $12 investment in my costume. And uh, the rest we're doing with makeup. Hair is still wet from the shower. We'll probably have to go hit the blow dryer in a little bit, but uh, let's get started. Using NARS Santa Fe, that's their medium two in the soft matte complete foundation. I am applying that onto my stainless steel palette, just a small amount using my Soft Blend Concealer Brush from Sigma. This is an F64. And I'm dipping in, and I'm gonna apply this as sheer as I really can, because I find that a sheer foundation holds up much better and is less aging. I'm using NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Canel. It is their Light 2.75. I find it best to keep my concealer away from the wrinkles because it tends to really crease in because that's a high movement area. So I really try to keep it away from this and I'm trying to keep it just right in the dark spots. Would love to be able to cover those dark spots with foundation, but ain't no foundation heavy enough to cover those dark circles. That is a lifetime of insomnia, also genetics. Probably more genetics than insomnia. And a little bit around my nose because a lifetime of allergies has left me with some broken blood vessels. I have a weird pimple coming up right here, so it's creating a little extra shadow. Nothing can be done about that. This is Black Opal Pressed Powder. And I need this to last for a while, so I'm gonna really sort of press it in. I got an all day thing today. This is a NARS Full Dimension Cheek Palette, and I'm gonna go in with Indecent. And that is this, it's a very soft contour. It's not really dark, so it's great for us fairer skin folk.
there's those cheekbones. We knew they were there. We just had to make them pop a little bit. Let's define the jawline while we're at it. Just a little bit. It has been requested that I not do any, because I'm going on camera with this today for something that I cannot tell you about. I, it has been requested that I do no shimmery powders, so no highlight. So I'm keeping everything pretty matte today. Because of that, I'm gonna go in with this blush right here, which doesn't have shimmer, and that is Danger Zone. left on the brush. There we go. I'm going to put some lips on because it always helps me to put my lips on first. Let's just have a wee bit of liner even though I am using uh, lip scents and they prefer not to use a liner. I just I need to see a line. It helps me fill it in. in that pencil because I remember it not sharp yesterday and this is skinny dipping by Joja I want my lips to last all day without really touching them up. So I'm using Lip Sense. It's a very dry feeling lip color and it takes three coats. Uh, my dress is a bright pink and I don't have a bright pink Lip Sense, but I do have this Roseberry and I'm gonna add a little bit of this shade that I can't really identify that's a sheer bright pink. I'm gonna mix them together and see if we can get something that's close enough. Yeah, they're a little crooked. We'll work on that. It's always interesting when you're doing a costumey makeup. Do you choose something that is dramatic makeup or do you choose something that makes you look pretty? Because sometimes dramatic makeup doesn't look very flattering. Just saying. I'm gonna go with my old deck of Scarlet palette. This is edition number, gosh, three. So that tells you how old this is. And it is this pretty show cute color. So I'm gonna try that for an all over my lid. And that is almost non-existent, which is probably a good place to start. Well, that pink 
doesn't show very much. And I've got a little more on my left eye than my right, so let's even that up. But one thing I do notice is that this pink in this palette is much brighter than that pink. So I'm gonna like brighten that pink up because this is also matte. Okay, needing to add more pink. What should we do? Let's try the Walhalla palette. The Juvia's Place Walhalla palette because, boy, when I need colors, that's got the color. Let's throw a little pink on these lips for our second layer. Hmm, doesn't really change it much. Okay, good. so I'm gonna go in with this busy body, this super bright pink. I'm using a very small brush. This is my smudge brush, because I am nervous. I don't usually choose bright colors like this, so I am a little fearful. Okay. The world didn't fall down, so let's keep going. I know that doesn't match. I just wanted to see the color but they're more or less the same. Let's just fill it all in. Now I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush. I'm just gonna take it all the way up to the brow. Fill in that whole area. Not my best look, but it's a look. All the way up. Just take a clean smudge brush and give that a quick little smudge, just because it's a little uneven on one side. A 
let's do someone needs more blush now hmm. A light color under the brow even though I haven't done the brows yet so it seems a little early but I gotta see it yeah, I gotta see it that helps just an off-white color in my uh, Viseart palette from Melinda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not quite so white, but the slightly off-white, or the more skin tone, if you're very vanilla. Just to lighten that inside just a little. Especially where that pimple is. That helps. There's a pimple there. Can't hide height. Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black.
Okay, we need to do something with that crease, I think. I'm gonna go in with this color called Woke and see if I don't botch this. One thing that's tough, our eyelids are moving all over the place. Remember when they used to stay still? You tried to do something in your crease and everything's just staying down. Now they're like moving all over the place with you. That's not fun. Um, I feel like I could need use a little bit more, but I'm a, a little afraid that I will mess it up. I'm gonna try this brush. Uh, no. I'm gonna try this brush. It's an old elf brush. It's a little, little angle. And I'm gonna go in with this. Kinda of wanna do this. I kinda of wanna do that. Let's let's try this. Just a little. a little right in there. Something under the eyes. I hate to do pink under the eyes, but I need something. Going in with that tiny little brush. Let's smooch all that off. Let's do, what purples do I have? Let me check this palette. Subdued. I don't want subdued. Oh, that's too sheer. Let's try that one. What is no? That's a blush palette. That won't do at all. Shall we try the Too Faced palette? Hmm. They're all quite shimmery. I don't think we want shimmery, but maybe a bit under the eye might not be too bad. Yes. Yeah, suddenly, I turn into an ancient crone. Uh, I'm gonna try some of this. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's uh, new money. Yay, new money. Try a little of that on this smudge brush. That helps. It's a start. Remember how I just said I didn't want pink under my eyes? What do I do? Pink right under my eyes. I want something pastel in here, so let's work on that. Pastel, but not shimmery. I think I'm gonna go in with the same uh, Viseart palette and go with that same ivory tone. Oh yeah. I 
This is the uh, Colored Rain Power Palette, and gosh, it has some pretty colors. They're pretty shimmer. I love that purple, but it's too shimmery. But I think maybe this Testify might be nice under the eyes. Should we try? A little Testify under the eyes. That is a pretty wine tone. Yeah, definitely better than the pink. I'm gonna run a little of that along the black line on the top up above. myself there. Just need a little, I'm gonna go for some of this revenge right on the inside corner. I know it's sparkly, but I think it might be pretty. Okay, let's get some eyebrows going. That's fun. Hit that with a little more concealer under the eyes just before we call it done. Eyebrows. Drama. Going with the Viseart palette. Little combination of these two colors on an angled brush. How dramatic do I want these brows? I think I want a higher arch than usual. Definitely pull them out. Yeah, that's fun. that light color right under there because it's Okay, that is fun. 
think we want some light on the inside of the eyes. We're gonna go with that same ivory tone because it's working very well. Just a little right in there. And a little under there. Let's get you. Okay, calling it done. Eyes. We're gonna need to do a little concealer under the eyes before I go, but let's get another layer of lips on. Let's get some mascara on and then you know we're doing false eyelashes which I left upstairs and I have to go get. The mascara today is NARS Climax Extreme. Isn't that par for the course? Okay, let's just do a little cleanup. A little cleanup here. I'm even gonna do a little more cleanup. Break out the Meissler water. Now that I look like I have a black eye. Yeah. and a little powder. Okay, I'm gonna run upstairs, grab my false eyelashes and blow dry my hair and then I will be back and we'll get to doing the rest. Here are the stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I paid $1 for these and I just got, I think I got like 10 packs. I just went overboard. So a $10 investment. Okay, I am running out of time. I don't have the appropriate footwear on yet, but you can see the dress that I've had hanging in my closet for years and never wore. And so I just put these butterflies all over it and I have to be out the door in a few minutes, so let's get this hair done. So I'm wearing a crown. This is the crown that I got in my silver hair box, and it does need to be pinned on. I'm gonna put hot rollers in my hair because I just want a lot of volume. I don't really care how it's styled so much because I'm gonna be pulling it back in the front. 
So let's get some hot rollers in with pretty much not much rhyme or reason in putting them on because it's more about volume and oomph than anything. Plus, I'm running out of time. What else is new? Aren't I always running out of time? And I have gloves. Now each one of these is a sticker that I got and I stick them on and then I just did a little whip stitch across the antenna to sort of tack them on. So sometimes they will flip up like that. These are magnetic. They are by KISS. Double strength, haven't tried them yet. Not going to trim them. Going to use them in their full length, which is gonna definitely be too big and they're going to extend on my eyes. Magnetic eyeliner on. It's nice having the other eyeliner on first because then you can just follow along the lines. I'm gonna let that dry so I don't have the same mistake that I had a few minutes ago. Let's get these out of the hair. Oh. That'll do. Good enough. Turn that off. Let's get a crown on. Let's pin the crown with some hair. Clip the 
these little guys on that I also got at the Dollar Tree. There we go. And we're going to take these butterflies and get them in the hair. I got a little crazy with the uh the liner got a little insane there and I am out of time. I will uh fix it on the way. What else to do? Wish me luck. I love you bunches. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And, uh, you know, play. Always play. Never give up playing. I love you bunches.